Hello everybody, welcome to Season 51, second round matchup between Doom Fox and his humans and Dionysian and his dwarves. In the booth with me is the legend himself, Fymir. Hello. Hello everybody, here with the Equity Master, the huge powered machine, already getting a blitz result, you know, taking advantage of uh, all the equity he could get. And <laughs> this game with the legend uh, Dio, Nisian is a list for our viewers in Switzerland. Oh. Oh, very uh, equity country, you know, if you have some money. Mm. With the national flower, the Edelweiss. And the national dish, the Rosti. Mm. And they speak like a, local, a lot of languages there. Mm. Yeah, quite the equity shift at the start. This is actually a really nice human team for Doom Fox, but... Uh... You know, as nice as it is for a human team, it's uh, not as nice as this dwarf team, probably. And the dwarfs have a wizard as well, so... Yeah, it's going to be tricky for the humans, but it's a super nice human team. I mean, they have some very good pieces there. Mm. And lots of guard, too. Yeah, but not as much guard as Dio's boys. And nope. Not as much armor and not as much mighty blow. But they've got the speed, haven't they? They've got the speed. And uh, that might be able to be used. Kill on in the chat. Hello. Hello. There's a Sato Colony right Switzerland uh, flag. You know, it's a big plus, uh, equity plus. <laughs> Instant cars, fantastic. Apple instantly use. Yep. Fair enough. I don't know, someone could uh, say that uh, the strength for peace. Ah, there is no uh, pylon on uh, the OS team, and there is one, two, three. Three mighty blows? Uh, yeah, four. I think four for Dino. No, three. Three, and the, yeah. the humans have uh, more than enough uh, mighty blows. So. They've got piling on there. And a couple of mighty blows, plus the, plus the ogre. So they've got three mighty blows of their own. And a pawn. So yeah, they've actually got more mighty blow, the humans. Unbelievable. Bone heading, not what I will have done. <laughs> Pylon. He has to. He can uh, allow that that, that piece gets a blitz or hit or anything. Oh, and he gets a castle oh, result. Oh. Into Miss uh, Next. Mm, no apple. Because he's a shitty troll slayer, so yeah, that was a massive equity shift. I got the wild catcher, but there is the wizard to be a little bit concerned about. No one on one D. He's trying to play like dwarves. He's not dwarves. <laughs> you can't one D dwarves. Oh, and here comes the instant wizard. Yeah, that's Wait, fair enough, isn't it? I mean, yes, he has an instant hit on the ball. Yeah. Is he making it 3D? It looks like he is. Yes. Four. I mean, why not? And gets the pow. Yep, and strength four there, ready to go and collect. And go into an eye cage. Oh no, the duple skulls. Shouldn't roll that. <laughs> Slight turn misordering there from Dio, eh? Yes, yes, I thought he was going to... Uh... 
do other stuff for that, and now Surhan's works. Oh, he was getting rid of the double skulls, you know, to, for the pickup. Yep. And that was really nice too, if I, if it had worked. So now, uh, there's the chance that Doomfox can roll some dice and uh, do something here. It's tricky though, isn't it? He's going to have to make some dodges that he's not even attempting. So, who can say if that's good or bad? So he's going to put both guards on and then blitz without tackle. Wait, no, he's just not hitting the ball. Yeah, it would only been one day as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good. Yep. If with two guards, it would just been one day. Well, yeah, to be fair, this is decent, isn't it? Dial's still in very much in a pickle here. Except the, uh, for the part that is the human's uh, drive. Yeah. But still, he's got to—he's got to like you know—he's got to get forward and score here, hasn't he? Like he's used his wizard, and it's all for naught if he just delays the drive. Like he has to—he has to score on the drive, and he has to score soon because he's not going to—he's not going to like stop the drive, and he's not going to be able to stall out the drive. I don't think. I think he's going to have to like potato down. Are you sure? I don't know. I mean, uh, Maybe he's going to get—he's getting a lot of uh, free hits uh, here. That the. Uh, yeah, maybe he could just come back, to be fair, yeah, if he comes back to here. See, I think he thinks he has to do this, but he doesn't have to do this. This is what I thought he would do. Like, you know, keep going forward, but he could have just gone back. Hmm. Yeah, true, to be fair, the dwarves are looking pretty decent, aren't they? But it's just that the humans can just roll some dice pretty easily all the time, that's the thing. And Fen doing a thing, and this is a... I mean, yes, he used the wizard early, but that was a perfect uh, opportunity for using the wizard. It was, yeah. It was a uh, 3D on the ball with tackle. Yeah, and, and the strength, strength for free. Uh... Uh, free, I mean. See, this is what I was thinking, that this doesn't look good. But I think both myself and Dio tunnel visioned a little bit into this situation. Whereas if you'd just gone back last turn, that seems a lot stronger, doesn't it? A lot stronger. I mean, he said he's counting on banging uh, all men here. <laughs> yeah, but the ball, how does he keep the ball safe? Hmm? I think now he's going to have to move back the ball, yes, I think. Uh... I think he's going to score, but I think he shouldn't have. I think he should have moved back last turn. He might be able to move it back, but I mean, I guess there's a stand firm there so he can move back. No, he's just going to score. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think me and Dio th thought the same way there. And and went forward and like, you know, that's why I said he was going to have to score early, but... Maybe he didn't, maybe he could have moved back that last turn. See me. Don't even dare to suggest that you follow the same thought processes than <laughs> Dionysian. <laughs> <laughs> Not about Hail Mary Pass, but about a lot of Blood Bowl, yeah. <laughs> and like, I also think it's not good to think that way in that situation, but I think we both did like, I think that's kind of, like, it's kind of how you do when you, get, like, use the wizard and get the ball, right? I think it's kind of natural to think that way a little bit. But if he had, uh, I think had he, oh, but... had he, like, you know, thought about it more, maybe he would have gone back that previous turn. And then maybe he would have stalled this out at 1-0. Whereas now, there's a good chance the humans make it 1-1, isn't it? That is true. But this man keeps hitting the stand firm uh, <laughs> dwarves with a blitzer. Making yeah. things... Uh... I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of stand firm on the team. <laughs> Oh, 
Lovely 3D. There you go, getting some results there. I would have gone uh, to one uh, hitting, you know, just a normal LOS with a pylon uh, piece. Mm. But th this knockdown, though, he wanted to open it up, didn't he? Because of the because of the rock, like kind of exposing this. It, it probably his initial react. His probably initial plan was to blitz this guy, but then when that guy goes down from the rock, he wants to uh, knock him down and really open up that side. Is what I imagine. Could be wrong. Oh wow! Oh man! Oh well, that was a pretty good reroll, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, master full art of the roll by Dionysian once again. You know, knowing how to use maximum equity of his double skulls. <laughs> I wonder if Dial thought it was going to be a 3D there, because he made that seven strength 7 against strength 4. Or maybe he just wanted to move him there anyway. Good thing this stun film would be the best one if you can get him out of the way. Oh man. Oh man. Getting really messy for the humans here. I, th I think it was actually better to blitz this this guy and just hope you power him, right? Og Ogre blitzes this guy. And then if you power him, you're clearing through. But uh, obviously, where the dice went, that would have looked terrible. <laughs> Seems pretty sick, isn't it? Like super TV efficient, strength four blood runner, bunch of guards done for him. This is a rowdy, rowdy foul. But is the best uh, piece left for the humans? Mm. That was really rowdy, though, right? Because these two people could have done something on defense. That was really rowdy before the blitz, yeah. Interesting. Super interesting foul, that. Or for a useless uh, only armor break, no death. <laughs> oh god, this is a pretty pretty strong defense, isn't it? Yes, it's the... Uh, the line is being formed, the trench has been made. <laughs> Here we go though, 2D needs the power. He has to roll it. it. No! <laughs> Needs to not roll double skull. Dio can think about the uh, runner counter score now. I wonder if the best player here was to um, GFI this guy straight away. Oh, it doesn't even, maybe he doesn't even need to GFI. Doesn't even need to GFI. Just run this guy forward so you've got a scoring threat. First action, I think. And the heat on the ball is coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, re I really like just moving this guy forward and having the scoring threat. Because there's no scoring threat for the humans. And now he's moving in him. Mm. I mean, the oh, see. Now, he's made both GFIs. And now the 1D works because it's a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Flipping dwarfs. He just blitzes him. Oh, maybe not. Does he have a reroll? I think... Uh, no. Oh. 
Is this the 2 nil for the dwarves? Oh man, it could be. It's really easy. Mm. Super easy. <laughs> Another KO. Oh, I don't like that from Dio, but he just rolls a power instantly, never mind. Because, like, you really want to free this guy up, and if you push him, then it, he's there. Like, I would have definitely filled in the squares. Filled in these two first. Because you need the blitz for that, don't you? You need, you need to be able to yep. use the blitz for him, so... That was a bit of shit, I thought, from Dio. Some would say shit and wrong. Uh, with all the blocks out of the way comes the real play here. Yep. Makes the GFIs. Oh. Fails the catch, reroll. No, oh, dice. Fails the catch again. <laughs> the, the strong runner didn't want to give it to the weak runner. <laughs> dice it. The absolutely dice it there. I don't know how he can recover after failing that uh, 3 plus for the 2 nil mm. in the opponent's drive. Yeah, that's. A, that's a, I mean, if anybody in Blood Bowl can, can handle it mentally, it's Dio, but yeah, a lesser person would be. Uh... Absolutely broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's brutal, isn't it? 8 times out of 9, you'd be 2 0 up, and then you could just turtle for the win. He can still just turtle for the win, can't he? But it's. Uh... Oh, yes. I mean, he has in that extremely strong position. Mm. Eleven versus eleven, though, and the humans do still do have a fair bit of mighty blow, so things could happen. Things could happen. Who knows? Who knows what the future uh, will bring, but. The humans have to work extra hard. Survives. Okay, I'm gonna grab another can. I'll be back in a second. Okay, okay. Oh. No pile on. So the humans might. The ogre's annoying. The strength four guy's annoying. It's got a bunch of guard as well, like it's a it is a super nice human team. And obviously it's got the speed to so like this is still a little bit tricky for Dio. I mean would have been really nice to have gone up one nil uh two nil. Because um, this can still go wrong. For the humans. <laughs> uh, just on time to see oh yes, one in fifty six. <laughs> Lovely. Oh man, the human, the humans are having horrible dice. It's not like uh, Dio is having better dice. Hmm. Problem but is, uh, too deep by tackle as well, aren't they over here? Not following. I really liked following there, and then he's on. Yeah, two. To Two of them, so that was the. Oh, the runner, the runner smashing the ogre to bits. Lovely. <laughs> oh, that's maximum use of the runner there. Mm. 
Really nice. Not hitting died, you know. What? No, he did want to tighten up the back of the cage. Interesting, I'm surprised he even bothered with that. I guess it means that he's there in case something happens, you know, in a turn or two's time. Yeah. That's why uh, Dio is in no hurry at all. He's the one he loves, and the ball is. Extremely safe. Yeah, literally all he has to do is protect the ball. That's that's correct. He doesn't have to score at all. He'll be quite happy to win this one nil. Yes, and also maybe the humans, you know, are giving a defending the ball is super too many free easy. hits here. Mm. This uh, base, base, base. Uh, well, he's got a bunch of guard of his own, so it's pretty cool. This I like is all the base up up there, you know, with like. Hmm. Yeah, this, this spacing isn't as good, but then you can get an assist there, but you can't get an assist there, and then if he goes over here, oh wow, double skulls. Oh wow, another double skulls. <laughs> the dice of both teams have been pretty terrible. To be fair. Pretty bad, yes, pretty bad. Oh my god, another dub skulls. Oh, look where is the ball. Flip me. I think there could be a hit on the ball, but lucky for uh, Dayo, he has a strength for a uh, blotch runner. Mm -hmm. Hello, physics. Did, did, did Twitch go down? Yes, he Twitch disappeared for a little while. Mm -hmm. The stream was up, I could see the stream, but the... Uh, Channel's list and all that was uh, gone. Okay. Oh. And he gets the hit on the ball with tackle and powers him. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, and there is a piece there that can pick up the ball. <laughs> and can fuck off. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. And, that's and this time the one that works. That's the funny thing, isn't it? That's the thing with, like, you know, the new in the new rules, Dio could have re-rolled the second up skull of the turn, couldn't he? Yes. Um... But he got really fucked there by, <laughs> by rolling two dub skulls in the same turn. Oh dear. He's got a reroll this, hasn't he? Yes. Yeah. But it, it, there is absolutely no doubt uh, about that. Hitting the ball. No. Oh my god, <laughs> just the, 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 you know, the line without any skill. <laughs> mm. It's funny because that, that re roll like, seems like you have to, but then um, the problem is, even if you do re roll it, you've still got to make another 2 plus to hit him, and then you've got to make another 2 plus, and then you've got to make a 75% to get him down. And then even if you do get him down, he would he can just get this catcher down and the blitzer down and another catcher through and it's still looking bad anyway, isn't it? I wonder if he had to re-roll that. I think he was already committed to the play. Mm. I think I think most people would, would like automatically re-roll it. I think that's most people's instinct and what most people would do, but I, I wonder if it is incorrect. It might be it might be correct to re-roll, but it might be wrong. Who knows? We'll never know. We'll never get blood yeah, ball The question is, if you don't uh, re-roll it and you start an over, the humans get a very nice uh, chance to stall this. Mm. Yeah, at least time. now they've got a score. Yeah, that's and the now thing. he must score. Yeah. So now you've got a chance to win it in normal yes. time. Exactly. So, you know, just imagine if my humans manage to stall X overtime and then get the ball. Mm. 
Yeah. And I guess they're dwarves, right? So they've got two hands for the pickup. They've got loads of block. Even though he's rolled loads of dub skulls. <laughs> there's, a, there's a good chance that one reroll is enough to punch it in in four turns. I mean, he has sure hands, block all over the place. So, yeah. Already uh, rolled more than enough dub skulls, you know, to pacify the equity gods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. That's a human? Hmm. Only a stun. Oh, nearly catches the ball. There has been a lot of uh, rocks in this game. Yeah. Two of them. Do you know what? I almost like just going for the pickup first before even making these blocks. Just because, you know, like, if you dub skull, you don't want to re-roll it. Because you've only got one re-roll for the whole thing. Whereas at least if you fail the pickup, it's with your hand, you know? Hmm, that's a point there, but also the ball is very safe where, where it is, and probably he's thinking I still have time. Hmm, he didn't have that much time, does he? That's the problem. Now, I would prefer to do this, uh, the blitz here to get a creative space and all that before the LOS hits, because that's actually important. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Glorious commentary always. There you go, finally. It's true. Which which one of them? <laughs> I already forgot them. <laughs> the one the one about the doing the fill the blitz first. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it is always glorious. Come on, then they'll tell me. I need it. All right, all right. Everything, everything I say is beautiful, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> well, Og is in a pretty good spot. There is a. A decent chance that the humans uh, can, you know, be able to stop the dwarves here. Mm. But they need to roll something besides uh, pushes yes. and up skulls. You know, that's, uh, that's a thing. Yeah. You know, with the amount of mighty blow that Dio has in the team, which he's using every turn because he's doing like 7 million blocks every, uh, every per turn. Where are the casualties? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd have expected more cars from Dio than from Andy Devo at this point, to be honest. Oh, yeah. He's an, he's annihilated these humans. I guess because he hasn't removed them, that's why he's made so many blocks, isn't it? <laughs> if he'd actually removed some, he wouldn't be getting to make as many blocks as he's making. Yeah, he's he I thought he'd have blitzed this guy and blocked him and tried to go up here. Interestingly, he didn't. Maybe he thought that was trap space. Super interesting. And now he's fouling, which I agree. He's got a bribe still, hasn't he? I think. I think he's still a. Uh... No. There was no, no bribe, but that guy's uh... just been killed. And perfect rolls, you know, perfect rolls. 11 on the armor, and then on the. You know that, so. Did they not get primes or was that the last game? Oh god. It was the last game. Alright. I think I've streamed too long today. <laughs> and then... Uh, but yeah, that's a nice foul because after all you are aiming to win on a regular time and you have enough dwarves left that if you, you get sent off, it's alright. The armor break is enough. Hmm. It was unbelievable, Van God. <laughs> yes, uh, it's not the result you were expecting. <laughs> Unless you check uh, Andy's record on Charlie's versus Flings. 
Oh wow. Okay, he this uh, I mean to there and he follows. Jesus. Okay, I stand fifteen. Yeah, he had to follow, yeah. Wow. I see I didn't like that last turn from Daniel. I, I preferred going up this way last turn. Interesting. Super interesting. Now this could be a uh, overtime uh, thing here. It sure looks like it. I mean, he needs to do something because the strength for a tackle piece. Ah, there you go. Okay. That force. Uh, oh. I mean, I don't think there's two D on the ball, is there? But I mean, no, you can just push him back. Yes, I mean, uh, how many GFIs to score has a Dio right now? Uh, Next two. time he stands 16. Yeah, two. two. He, so the humans only need one push back. You can push him, then push him, and then surf him, even. But you could also. Oh no, he's got, he's got stand firm. You could punch him, and then run around, and then use two. And then I surf think him he's going something. for the dodge with the strength four. Yeah, let's just go for the 1D push. Wait, what? He's not. Uh, mate, the ball is the other way. Just go for the uphill push. Easy. Ah, I mean, yes. <laughs> and make, make it a blitz. Make it the blitz, just in case. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good defense, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, yes, but I think the 1D, yeah, you know, you only need a push. Yeah. Yeah, I do much. Push. But then, you know, that, that covers him if it fails. Like, and even if you don't get it. I guess he's a better one to not get stuck there and stuff. Like he probably didn't need. He probably doesn't even need to push him, does he? After making those, that bank of, uh, you know, the 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 elf curtains, as PC loves to say. <laughs> okay, we can. Uh... Made the screen, has not he? That Made runner, the that runner, fucking hates the ogre. You know? <laughs> he does, doesn't he? <laughs> you know, like, we have seen that, and honestly, honestly, it felt like a very unnecessary blitz because he could have just assisted or something. <laughs> oh, you know, fuck you, tall man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, sent off for nothing. Oh. Uh, so the, the biggest mistake that Dio has made is not having a death roller on the team, you know? True, true. It was a pretty neat defense by defense, but I think Dio lost it the turn before by not going up here, by going down there. I thought he left himself a lot less options than if he'd come through there. Right, and here goes overtime. And see, a roller in the first half will change everything. Mm. Which I was thinking, the rollers, I mean, the dwarves that are in the rollers, I was thinking about two options. Like the rollers are the uh, dwarf concept of a wheelchair, you know, so when a dwarf gets injured and can't fight anymore, they put on the death roller so he can <laughs> keep fighting, which is, <laughs> you know, very inclusive, that. very nice, you know, wheelchair. <laughs> or. They're a mobility scooter for ultra fat dwarves that can't move anymore, you know, so they can just hit people meanwhile they keep eating butter. <laughs> That's the only two options that I see with the dead roller, you know, uh, the nice one or the, you know, the really that. The problem is, if he had a death roller, he wouldn't have had the wizard, and the wizard led to the 1 0 at half time, didn't it? So, you know. Yeah, but with the roller, he could have fouled the ogre, which is probably the main target of uh, Dio this game. Mm. Well, I think he could have done physics. I think he could have done. I think he was, what, he was about here. Like one, two, three, four. Like double GFI. I think he could have done it. It doesn't matter. He won the toss. That gives him a... Uh, 
And like he had space, like he, that was that turn, then there was two turns after he, uh, he like, if he got to here, there was still two turns to get forward, whereas, um, as it was, he, he was already hemmed in there. Because at least he had like kind of open field in front of him up there. By the way, uh, so, 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 the time to mention that the Unition has two Dwarf Runners, and none of them have El Meri Pass. Wow, shocking. Maybe this is the year he wins it. <laughs> Andy got a kick. Andy won the he won the kickoff toss for the overtime. Andy got an extra reroll. So now, mega favourite, isn't he? Now with two rerolls and starting with the ball. All he's got to do is not get turned over again. <laughs> don't roll double skulls twice in one turn. Pro tip. And uh, this is a more or less a repeat of the beginning of the second half. Mm. More or less. Just with less humans. <laughs> yes, but I think it's exactly the same uh, chain of events. Yeah, more or less. I mean, uh, so this is dwarves. There's no much variety, you know, there's no, man, no much they can do. Pushing stand firm again. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Dagos rolled all the dub skulls, but flip me as Doomfox rolled some pushes. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. Jesus. <laughs> to be fair, he could have maxed three days, he didn't. Now the question is, how is the are the humans going to try to crack that the uh, cage? I think that's not the play. The play is just the stall and wait for kicks. Oh, he can't. He can't wait for kicks. He has to push. He has to do something. Somehow. Yes, but the that's all right. He has the strength for his free, so that's good. He's not stuck in a stand firm like in the last uh, eighteen turns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you got a hey, this time he got that dwarf. I fucking hate that dwarf. <laughs> also, it's the one without the stand firm available, so yeah, good. <laughs> and power's the stand firm. It's all coming up, Doom Fox. He hasn't got many players, though, has he? Nine. But I think Dio's only got 10 and has the ball, so. You know, only got three players knocked down there. So this turn's going to be tricky for Dio. That was a brave follow by the other gutter. Wasn't it? Yeah. Interesting that Dio didn't stand up the blitzer and make it 3D, so he must have plans for that blitzer. So it doesn't study now. Super interesting. The gauge moves. Mm. It's pretty nice having the ball and the strength for Bludger, but then but then Doomfox has got the strength for tacklers so or... The natural mm. enemy. Yeah. Yeah. The predator. And uh, who do we go again, you know, that dwarf, fuck you, you know. I know it's a different one, this, this time it's a blitzer. <laughs> Gonna hold the sideline with blood step. I think that's a good idea because there's the only free play is the blitzer. Yeah. Oh man, I know the dwarves are armor nine, but. Ooh. Oh, I have put the uh, auger in here and made that a 2D, and then really putting the pressure on the uh, runner. I will have put the auger in the middle of these uh, three uh, dwarves so he can attack the three of them. Yeah, but then they just instantly punch him, don't they? That's the problem. Like if you put him One there, this guy comes in there. So it's like six and two threes, isn't it? He, that, now now it, it takes a commitment to punch him. Oh. If they were to take that, like, 
you would force them you would force it if you put him here you force them to punch him but here you make it more commitment if you if they want to punch him yeah it didn't glitch the ogre with a runner yeah that's a good point here we go push again nice this is the dwarf that we hit in other time, and uh, now <laughs> there's the two buses to push it. There you go. <laughs> Everything in order. <laughs> I wonder how Dan's going to score. Is he just going to go to kicks? Could do. I think it's really tricky against this strength for tackler, isn't it? Yes. And obviously, catches to move and assist. Maybe Dio's like just settling for the uh, kicks here mentally. Nah. Oh, big I was going to say, at some point, some team is going to start suffering uh, armor breaks. <laughs> yeah, and you've heard I this is how it's huge, yeah, because that gives them the assist for the other one. Oh, and an armor break. Yeah, alright, this could be the turn for Dial. This opens the gates. Gets him. Finally! Well, there's an armor break. It's a good result for the humans there, and this is. Things are so tight. So mm -hmm. tight. That, you know, every armor break, everything it has a huge equity impact. <laughs> yep. I can imagine uh, the Adeptus Dionicus working, you know, taking an extra sip of fuel to calculate. <laughs> Yeah, and I've got these two. These two are really good because he can ditch them a little bit. But what? Do, yeah, it was a great turn from uh, Doom Fox. And what does? They were not really getting to benefit from that. His previous two stuns here, very much. I mean, in the end of the day, it's some kind of cold war here, you know, because there is the, sto the two strengths for pieces. <laughs> know that they can show any weakness at any moment. <laughs> yeah. Both of them have to be, you know, more or less there. It's the cold war, you know, like, okay, if you advance, I can get you. <laughs> and if you come for me, I'll get you. <laughs> Big removal there, though. Now, surely, surely there's going to be something happening next turn. <laughs> It's a pal. He's got it. No, oh, I was going to say he's got oh, it. Oh, that's it. Enough. The core war. In. Oh, oh that's massive. That's absolutely massive. Just when he needed it the most, because I was thinking that matter be an armor break or you are done. Mm, flip me. Oh, I'm not sure I like that because that gives him a way to blitz out, doesn't it? Fails the dodge. No, I actually think that's worse. I guess he could have just blitzed and then moved forward. Maybe, maybe that, that Lionel had to be here or something. Then maybe he could chain him out. I don't I don't like this human here. Human. Well, he's not, but oh, he's just chaining him. And then dodging. Oh, oh. Well. Hero play for the humans. Well, not that the. Hero play. It's a... It still has the rolls, it still has the. 
Oh. Got to re-roll it. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, oh, no. oh, and I think that's all, folks, unless the uh, Tio decides to roll extra skulls here. <laughs> yep, yeah, three. Well, he needs, he's got tackle, but he, he does need the pow, because it's bloodstuck up diamond tackle, so he's got a pow, it gets the pow. On turn 24 as well, unbelievable. Turn 24. Pretty great game, that, I think. I think it was good. Yes, the Doom Fox, uh, you know, did a very good uh, game there. Given the circumstances, he, has, he had very unlucky with the dice. I mean, both of them were very unlucky with the dice. Yeah, yeah. I thought they both played. I thought they were both both good teams, both good coaches. Yep, back and forth, overtime. Really good game. Really nice. So, uh, commiserations, Doom Fox. Congratulations, Dionysian. Thank you very much, Faimir, for coming into the booth. Absolutely glorious. Our absolute pleasure to be here. And I'm great to see Dionysian coming through to the next round of the Chalice Cup. Block oh, stats. Yeah, how many blocks have been there? 92! <laughs> I mean... I mean... Okay, let's rephrase that. Doom folks are playing well, but maybe you gave away a few extra blocks. <laughs> yeah. It's 59 versus 92. Yeah, but he didn't make removals. That was it. So he just kept making them, didn't he? And this yes, yes, he kept yes, getting yes. them back. And I know it was three halves, but that's still that's still a lot of blocks. That's a, I think I've seen 100 blocks before, but uh, that's that's very very high amount of blocks. How I mean, it's I know it's 24, so it's been. This is, you know, yeah, some uh, very quick uh, calculation, you know, <laughs> 92 blocks, 24 times. That's nearly four blocks per turn. Mm. That's that's a whole lot of blocks. It is, yeah. Yeah, 60 is a lot in 16 turns. Yeah, exactly. So, you have an extra half. It's, st it's still a lot. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely a lot of blocks. Unbelievable. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.